Hi, I'm Matt with Grow Wing Photography. Uh, in this video today, I am going to show you kind of the a side by side in a sense, uh, as far as time goes, with using a DSLR slash mirrorless and the Theta Z1. Now, the way it's going to work is um, I already have the photos done. I just haven't merged them yet. I haven't stitched them or anything like that. I'm not going to do any editing to them. I'm just simply going to run them through Photomatics with a, a preset uh, that I already have set up for doing these photos. And then I'm going to stitch them, bring them into Affinity, and I'm going to remove the tripod, and that's it. So we're going to compare those times. With the uh, my mirrorless, my 360 is four shots horizontally, one shot up, one shot down. The Z1 is going to be uh, using dual fisheye plug-in and the HDR bracketed 9. So they're both going to be merged in Photomatics. So let's go. So now I want to look at quality of each. So I'm going to go into FSP Viewer. Is that the edited one? Yeah, okay. So let's just put these both on the same thing. Let's, oh, here we go. We can just look right out this window here. This is the Z1 and so here we go. This is the DSLR, this is the Z1, DSLR, Z1. So, one good thing to really show you sometimes the quality between the two of them is looking at carpet. The detail in the carpet. And there's one of my helpers right there. So, put it same view. As you can see, you're getting a little bit more detail. Now, I didn't do any settings, no editing, no nothing on these, just straight out of the, the HDR merge. The same preset, same everything. And I know I'm using a different camera, so presets are gonna be different for each, but this is as, as close as I could get with a comparison. Here's the Z1. Here's the DSLR. quality difference you can see right there especially over especially over in here you see it's blurry kind of blurry over there DSLR it's crisp smooth nice color let's take a look at this light A little difference with the light. It's a little, a little more glow to it on the Z1. So look at the color, the black color, and yeah, you can see here Z1. Look at the lettering. Now look at the lettering here. So I mean, you're you're getting better quality with the DSLR, right? and and I don't think anybody really is going to dispute that. I mean, there's no real way to dispute that the DSLR is just going to be better quality, hands down. Um, my thing is, is is how much more time are you going to have to spend on the Theta Z1 to get your quality 
somewhat more presentable over just using a DSLR. So again, bring it back over here. I think this is probably my best example. This is just some photos of houses I did. Um, look at the blur. I mean, it's just blurry. It needs to be sharpened. Now, going in to sharpen it, you know, that takes more time in order to kind of sharpen these edges here and using topaz sharpening um, to get it to be a quality photo. Like, look how blurry it is. That, that's, to me, that's just not great. Um, you know, and again, these can be brightened up a little bit, but, but just, you can see it right here. You can see just the blurred edges. And you can see the crisp edges. All right, so I'm just going to conclude the little comparison that we just did. Um, so between the two, the, uh, the, the mirrorless and the Z1, in the end, totally, it actually comes out to be that the Z1 is a little bit more. Now, I know originally I said all I'm going to do is I'm just going to do basic editing. And I'm going to give those times and everything like that showing that. Um, so with just basic editing, meaning merge, stitch, and remove the tripod on the M50 was five minutes, 40 seconds, or my mirrorless, sorry. On the mirrorless, it was five minutes, 40 seconds. On the Z1, it was two minutes and 51 seconds just to do this. Now, add on doing quick uh, Lightroom, lighting adjustment, you're looking at, and... Yeah, you're looking at, with the M50, you're looking at 20 seconds, roughly. That brings it up to 6 minutes flat for the, the mirrorless camera. The Z1, however, 20 seconds, just do a Lightroom adjustment. Um, but to sharpen it on, you know, in this comparison with my PC, it's 3 minutes and 41 seconds to run it through Sharpen AI to give it a better quality look. And I'll show the examples of that. So that brings the total for the Z1 up to six minutes and 52 seconds. So it's almost a minute longer to merge, stitch, remove the t uh, tripod, Lightroom editing, and run it through Sharpen AI to get a better quality image out of it. Here's something I wanna show you. As I said in, uh, in this video here, um, I did uh, go through and I edited in Lightroom and ran uh, the Z1 through Denoise, same with the DSLR. So I'm going to show you a little difference here. Um, this is same pan as before, uh, other than the fact that I decided that I was going to go ahead and just do some light editing uh, in Lightroom. You know, just uh, pretty much just got rid of a little bit of the color cast, brightened it up a little bit. That's all. Not nothing fantastic, nothing spectacular. But so this. It's been edited in Lightroom, but has not been run through um, Sharpen AI. Now, this is the same one. This is the Z1 that has been run through Sharpen AI. As you can see, quite a bit of difference in the quality and how crisp and clear it is. So, let me go and I'm going to do the, the, the carpet again. Just to Again, I like using carpet for an example because there's a lot of detail in it. See it? It's all just blah, 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 blah. And then you look at this here, and it's got a little more detail to it. It's a little sharper, a little sharper, a little less noise. Well, you don't see noise in there, but overall, there's a little bit less noise. There we go. So this is the original. See how it's all blurry over here? And this one is run through sharpen AI. And then of course this is the DSLR. So let's DSLR or mirrorless. I keep calling it DSLR. Uh, Z1 through sharpen. Z1 that hasn't been sharpened. And we're gonna look at this real quick. Z1 that's not sharp. Z1 that is sharp. And the DSLR.
So you're still getting, you know, the color is a little more true, a little bit better, uh, a little more depth. But with the Z1, if you want to get better quality, you have to really do something with, with sharpening it up a little bit. And that's just all there is to it. So back to me and my talking head. Now with the, the mirrorless, you don't have to do that. You don't have to do the sharpen. You don't have to reduce noise. You don't have to do any of that because it already it's already done it's finished for you uh like for example the z1 or the, yeah the z1 it's 26.6 megapixel so its size is 7296 by 3648 that's the size of the file it's a 20 megabit file megabyte megabit <laughs> megabit uh let's go with that um where the dslr is over double that it's uh 14,142 by 7,071 and it's at 100 megapixel and 42 megabit. So when you take all that information in consideration, the DSLR is twice the size Pano, over four, almost four times the megapixels. The quality of it is sharper, smoother, clearer, crisper, um, you're not getting blowout from lights. You're not getting blowout from windows as bad. So all in all, it's actually faster to use your mirrorless in this case. So again, I hope this helps and enjoy.